Hey guys and welcome to my first official FIFA 18 pack opening. Although we did have the web app packs, this is me sitting down on the console smashing through some FIFA points. I don't know how many I'm going to spend, probably until I can actually get a good player. And one thing I wanted to include in this video today was my live reaction in a Skype call. I didn't have any face cams, I didn't even realise the audio was recording. So it's a last minute thing that I posted out on Twitter, did you want to hear the live reaction? And a lot of you guys did. And very in mind it was very late so I'm pretty much whispering but it is pretty funny and it keeps you updated with some of the awesome pulls so make sure to drop a like 2,000 likes and I'll do more pack openings all throughout the year and if you're needing game codes to stock up on Xbox Live PSN head over to g2.com use the code Fuji on every single order to get yourself a discount and let's head into the pack opening of dreams I hope anyway let's go So I hope you did enjoy that live reaction. Like I said, it was very early in the morning for me, so I couldn't go too crazy. But the two player, or two informs in one 7.5k pack, I've never ever had that before. That is pretty damn rare. And Fever 18, the card weight seems to be bad again. So I think that's an awesome pack. Let me know your best player so far in the comments, and let's get into this pack opening. How many Fever points are we going to spend? Not so sure. And at the end of it, I do want to do a... Club tour, that's what I want to do. Right, who's that? We're going to get straight through them, guys. Seriously. And if you don't know... Oh, Dyer. Uh, it's a shame he wasn't a CDM because of the lack of pace. Nice defending and physical, though. And what I wanted to tell you, tomorrow we do have... You know what's coming. 8 p.m. Do not miss it. Write it down. 8 p.m. UK time tomorrow. The road to glory. The ultimate road to glory starts. And it's just going to be so sweet. Oh, yeah. I actually discard players. Um, for those that do get offended, I can understand because you might not have the coins. But as this is my main account, I don't really treat it with like much respect i just put fever points on open packs and see what i can get and if i can use those coins to unlock spcs that is pretty much what this account is going to be used for and obviously buying inform cars and all that good stuff anyway hunter yes that's what we need if we don't get good players give me really nice consumables you know how we do let's smash these Come on, at least one walkout. I'm not finishing this pack opening unless I get one huge walkout. And I think people were saying, actually, uh, they brought it to my attention that if you look on the side of the pack, you know when it comes down the animation and spins, the side of the pack glows a certain color. I mean, if it's brighter, then it means it's going to be the bigger, bigger the player. I, I don't know. Well, hopefully I can show you. I do not want to make the mistake and open packs with coins. Nut nut. That's not a good call. Right. That's not glowing. So that tells me it's going to be a skip, skip pack. I should have skipped it. Anything that doesn't glow, I think we're skipping it, just so we can rinse through them. And as you can tell, I haven't played any games yet. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> no, no, I'm not scared, but what people are saying, right, there has been some mad games going down, like 8-6. Eight, 8-6, six. Eight, six. that glowed. No, 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 seriously, it's actually glowing. That could be a walkout. Dutch, striker. Uh, oh, that's not. So... I don't know what the walkouts are. Do they do they glow even bigger or what is the way to tell? Let me know in the comment section. But Bastos 83, good for SBCs. But what was I saying anyway? Yeah, I was looking through Twitter and I think it was R Stacks. I, I do believe it was R Stacks that uh, tweeted out. Uh, a, a brilliant player on FIFA 17. He was insane. Um, and yeah, he was basically uh, posting out that someone... It went into a game with him and he won like 8-6 or 8-7. Some scoreline which just... It doesn't make any sense. Like, that should not be happening. 
but yeah, that's FIFA 18 for you. So for me, uh, I do want to use my starter team that I was telling you uh, about, but I might actually build a hybrid around Karezma. I do have some ideas. You know that Medel is in the same league and also the same club. So if I use a four, oh God, uh, yeah, that's fine. I should really sort my trade pile out. Uh, yeah, sorry again about discarding players. Um, yeah, you know Medel is in the Super League, so if you do use a 4-3-3 flat formation, you've got the strong link there with him, it is perfect, and in the centre mid position, I don't think you would have seen actually from the highlights that I showed, because I don't think I was recording at the time, I did pull the Chilean centre mid that is in form this week, so that gets the link to the Bundesliga, and I'm creating a hybrid of dreams, you know me, I love my hybrids, and I just start to go a bit crazy. So I'm looking forward to trying that. That will be my first real team. And then the road to glory is where we're going to have those cheap sides. Because we won't be able to afford anything else. But I do have some uh, trading tips that I think is I think it's going to work. Um, how many coins are we going to be able to make? Well, it all depends on what we get given from those loyalty packs. If... I put a prediction on maybe 10 to 15,000 coins. That's something that I could seriously work with and maybe double, triple our money within an episode. And then once we get like 50K, we can look to build a team. And the Weekend League, oh my God, the Weekend League is literally starting in two weeks time. Monthly top 100 rewards are gonna be important. But then again, with people getting the game on the 29th, they're not gonna really be in a good enough position to take part in the weekend league so maybe that puts us in a better standing but anyway we're gonna be oh i wasn't even paying attention to the balls coming down benega that could have been dibala no is dibala a walkout yeah i think he's what is he 86 eight? no he's 87 dibala's or 88 i can't remember but benega it's a shame he's not in sir he's at um uh severe so yeah see you later buddy uh we've got neto in there not a bad uh, keeper, really. I swear, he reminds... When I always see Neto, he reminds me of FIFA 12 Brasilvas. Did you used to play that game? If you did, let me know in the comments if you're an OG from, like, just that best FIFA of all time, to be honest. For me, anyway, I loved... Uh, Philip Coutinho, a surprise right there. He was actually a silver. Ibarba was a CDM. You had El Kabir, striker. The list goes on. It was just such a fun FIFA. And I think that's what they're trying to do with... Speaking about Brass Silvers, what the hell? That is as freaky. There's one, and he doesn't really look that great. The thing with uh, FIFA 18, I think that's what they're pushing for. They're literally just saying to us, you can't defend, your keepers won't make any saves, outscore your opponent. And I quite like that, because then it comes down to... Who has the better attack? Although defending is part of real life football. And sorry that I skipped that. That could have been Quadrado. Oh no. It's and another brass silver. What the hell? Oh my god. Let's talk about Ronaldo. So we can get Ronaldo in a pack. I mean, yeah. Ronaldo would be nice. Uh, or info or any inform from this week's team of the week. I'm I'm gonna stop if it's gonna be a Ronaldo walkout or Yeah, or any walkout and a team of the week. That'd be just ideal. That's going to be Radu. No, Radu awful. We don't want him. Come on, please. I just want a little bit of luck on the web app. I probably got through maybe 20 to 30,000 FIFA points without hitting anything. And then you will see my club in a little bit. So we've spent, I'd say, 65 to 70,000. And we're in a good position right now. I thought that was going to be one of those um, border ones. Ah, oh, these are rubbish. Come on, EA, please. I want to give you guys a walkout on my on my channel. Please. How long is it going to take? Maybe they're saving it for the road to glory. Honestly, give me the worst packs that you want, EA. As soon as I open up those loyalty packs. Oh, no, 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 no. I saw a big... Oh! No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, I thought it was going to be a walk. I thought it was going to be a French walkout. It is a French walkout. Valbuena. Oh, my God. He's waving. What? He looks ridiculous. Stop waving. No, seriously, though. Valbuena, I did say, I called it. I wanted a walkout, an inform walkout. We've got ourselves Valbuena. His card looks good. 
but he's a left mid. And I've already packed him, by the way, spoiler alert. So we've got two Valbuenas, and I need to sort out my tray pile. Anything else in the pack? Summer? Not bad. But I'll take that. How much does he go for? All the... Oh, God. All, um... Week one informs just go up in price. Like, seriously. Look at my tray pile. I've packed human sun. Like, I swear to God. You're not going to believe this. I've sold probably like four on. So I've packed over like seven eights. Uh, that guy there, I'm going to discard. <laughs> get out. Get rid of him. Has he discarded already? Come on. Get out of here. Right. Where is Valbuena? That's actually a pretty sick pull. But I was hoping. I know I'm going to sound like. I don't know. I maybe shouldn't say this, but I was hoping for someone better than Valbuena just because I've already got him. Like, if you're going to give me an inform, what did I do? Oh, yeah. He's sent to the trade bar now. If you're going to give me an inform, then give me someone that I haven't already got. Just make it interesting. I still didn't know who the hell was coming out of the pack, though. French? Oh, imagine if that was Dybala. A Dybala walkout. That would have been like the best pack opening video so far. But at least we know. Did you actually notice any fireworks going off there? I didn't see that. Maybe that's only for the real high rated. Like Messi, Ronaldo, Suarez, Lewandowski. Well, I didn't see Lewandowski a firework display because I was on the web app. I was so hyped with that pack though. It came out of nowhere because the web app just goes bang. And you get yourself a 91 rated striker. Just was not ready for it. I wasn't ready. Uh, center back? Uh, no. As soon as I see that badge, nah, get out of here. I'm not wasting my hours on you. And someone was saying, by the way, you can get extended EA access if you, if you run out of your hours, 10 hours, let's just say, and you are on that console and you switch user, so then you top it up on your second account you can then switch back to your main and use the hours does that make sense maybe i haven't explained that very well so yeah basically sign in on your second account get ea access and then while you're on the main menu switch user and then sign in that way so then you'll have 10 hours using the other account that is going to be another bit oh my god who send it back oh you had to you had to give me him like that is the worst one but i did say i want someone's different and i haven't packed him yet wangberg what a name that is a strong name wangberg 76 rated i think he was a silver and they're giving silver to goals a huge upgrade and do you know why do you want to know the real reason it's not because they're being nice if you get into the top 100 with all these silvers going to goals you're not going to be generating as many coins. And that's why they've done it. Imagine getting top 100 and packing him. You'd be so disappointed. Well, I know I would, but, you know, maybe you guys wouldn't. But for me, we're needing... No, nah, I'm not stopping there. We're needing better walkouts. But I'm, I'm pretty happy, though. Maybe the console packs are just the way to go. We've had two informs. Um, not really any player to shout about, though. Like, Valbuena, I will sell him later. Hopefully, I can get maybe 25, 30,000 coins if he uh, does, in fact, go up in price. Come on. We're on a streak here. And, yeah, just to let you guys know, sorry about this guarding players. I don't really want to do it myself, but I can't be bothered to sort out my tray pole. I want a big, big flare. That's, that is a big flare. I want striker. Oh, Werner. That reminded me of Werner the Burner. I need to get him. He's selling for about nine to 10,000 coins. Motorbike. Uh, yeah, he's selling for like 10,000 coins, which is pretty expensive. I wish I was able to get together a lot more coins. At the st hey, he looks solid. He looks really good just because of the pace. I'm such a pace abuser. But no, I was I was wanting to get a few more coins together at the start so I could then invest in Kante, but he's shot up to 100,000. He isn't even on the market. Oh, I want Kante on my main account and the Road to Glory. I want Kante everywhere, just like he is in real life. He's such a good player. Come on. We're still needing that uh, informed walkout, non-informed walkout, whatever you want to give me, we're getting it. Will we be able to before 
we get to 100,000 fever points. We still got 100,000 fever points left. I don't know when I'm going to open them all. I know a lot of you guys will say stream, but I'm not really like that clued up with streaming, especially on YouTube. I've never done it before. I used to stream on Twitch quite a bit, but then it all comes down to when I'm available. Like here, it's easy for me to record and then it's done. But then streaming over there, it's just then find, finding the time to then produce videos. I know that I could take like the street stream recording, but it never looks good for me I personally just the way I look at it but you guys might uh, want me to stream we shall see what happens come on I want another big flare please I want a proper walkout with fireworks CDM Polish oh Krakowiak what a monster well he, he wasn't playing that good last year so he's looked for a change of scenery going from PSG to um, West Brom only on loan i think they wanted to put in an option to buy but psg wasn't having it i think he still is a good player obviously i don't watch the league in that much but i do keep up to date with uh, like football news and and seeing what players are doing well so yeah hopefully he can get back to form the deli alley come on del boy <laughs> bring me that luck i don't know do you know what Oh my god, Aurie, you beautiful man, welcome, I already bought him for 7,700 coins, so that is going to be a dupe, but as he is first owner, you know what I'm going to do, sends a club, yeah, yeah, uh, oh god, this is awkward, let me go to my trade pole for a second and discard everybody, no, I won't discard everybody, but I will discard the main ones here, um, yeah, let's get rid of him, see, all of these that... All of these Dutch players, especially from like Ajax, those types of uh, leagues, they're going to come in handy for SBCs. You just know they are. And I'm discarding them for 300 coins. And eventually, I'm going to have to go on the market and purchase them for about like 4k. Unless I pack them again, which I hope. That should that should be enough. I don't want to discard too many more. So yeah, three gone. Let's get Odier into the team. I like his picture as well. He looks so serious. And he is a serious player. He's an absolute monster. My best, well, the best right back for me, really. My favorite uh, right back. Let's drop him in there. Nice. Uh, what chem style should I put him in this year? I, I usually put, I think, anchor. Uh, may maybe shadow chem style. But 85 or 86 pace, whatever he is, isn't even that slow. However, haven't used him yet on FIFA 18. We will find out. And believe it or not, he is in my hybrid just because he just gets chemistry and i packed by yeah i actually packed by and small no by and kashelny got carried away there it was by and uh Kishelny. and I'm, I'm wanting to uh, at least get some game time in tonight well 100 i want game time and then i'm going to be recording the road to glory oh god this, i haven't even recorded the road to glory yet so i don't know if i'm good at the game Hopefully. Well, I was I was decent on the beta and the demo, well, playing against CPU. I, I don't mind the CPU, but the problem is there is no user error. So, you know that you would maybe step out and create an opening. And that's what I like to take advantage of, just the exploits in someone's defense. But then, yeah, CPU don't really do that. And they are able to press and second man press really well, well really efficiently, uh, put it that way. So it's just incredibly hard to actually play the CPU. And then if you guys are talking about ultimate difficulty, there is literally no chance in hell that I'm going to be playing that. Well, squad battles, depending on how many coins are on offer, then I may play it. But I've never been a huge fan of offline. I'm, I'm all about online. I'll play foot champs. I'll play uh, the foot draft game mode, a daily knockout tournament, you name it. But squad battles, it's going to have to... It's going to have to bring the heat for us to even think about taking part in that. So I did take a break from speaking, opened up a few packs with my face cam still on. Did I get anyone? No, I didn't. So we're back. Face cam live. Maybe it'd bring me a little bit more luck. Well, we've had some good pulls in forms, but I'm just wanting that mega pull. Like a Kevin De Bruyne, a Luis Suarez, an inform Aguero. Oh, please, Aguero. Mertens, inform Mertens. Where are you at, my boy? Mertens, come on, drop into my pack. I would have taken his non inform, but that's impossible with him having an inform right now. Or is it? We shall find out. That's not, no, I'm skipping. I'm skipping everything that isn't a walkout. Because I'm not feeling it right now. Uh, mm, yeah, 61 pace. No, you're never going to get used, mate. <laughs> no way. Oh, one thing I was told. 
this could i think this is true actually you know last year how they did the league sbcs and it was in fact the top goal scorer last season well it looks like they're doing the one that got the most assists uh we've got callahan from the Serie A, kevin de bruyne premier league i think messi in fact uh, ended up with the most assists in the la liga so kevin de bruyne oh my that is gonna be a, a naughty card i've got to say just a naughty naughty card and i want it I wonder if he's actually going to suit the game because last year, well, his FIFA 14 card was so OP. I think that's the one where he had the man of the match in that counter spot. And then after that, he st well, when the game started to get slower, he felt clunky and he, and he was like that for a couple of years. And now on this game, he could be good. He could be a world beater and we will try him. 99,000 FIFA points. That makes me a little bit sad. It keeps going down and I'm not getting the big pause. Maybe this one. No, that's definitely not. Go on, show me. Uh, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. Center forward. No, I'm not. That's Raphael. Raphael? I think so. Has he got four-star, four-star this year? Yes, he does. Good card. Actually, a very nice. 86 dribbling. Ooh, that is good. Yeah, he's bringing the heat. That's for sure. I'm discarding you, though. I, I have... Uh, come across some uh, nice pulls though that you guys have been tweeting me at fuji720pyt is my twitter handle links in the description go and check that out and when you do get a pull tweet me i like to see what you guys are doing i know someone pulled neymar like from their loyalty packs come on i've never been that lucky let me know have you ever got like a i'm not gonna say um all right who's like a, a good player but not really that great um i'd say David Silva, there you go. David Silva, high rating, but no one really wants him. Has anyone actually started off FIFA with a massive pool? Bale, Neymar, Ronaldo, let me know. Me, never, never, ever. And FIFA 18, once again, no. <laughs> but uh, my luck comes maybe playing games, I guess. I, I just got to always grind my way up to things. Uh, I hope my, my, well, my goal for... FIFA 18 is to obviously play some good FIFA and get myself Ronaldo or Messi in a pack. It's got to happen sooner or, or later. Has to. I've been playing the game for so many years and my loyalty packs weren't even that great, like the quality, and I don't understand why. Well, my first ever account on Xbox got banned because I, I used to buy coins. <laughs> Yeah, well, that, I wouldn't I wouldn't advise you to buy coins now because you literally will get banned. There is no point of buying coins. They know the way to track it. So I'd advise you to get FIFA points and open packs and maybe get yourselves a walkout French centre-back. Um, Titi. What a monster. 74 pace, 82 defending, 79 dribbling with good... Uh, sorry, 79 physical with good dribbling, good passing. Yes. And I've already packed him. So we got two. I love it. Just bring me more. And I'll end up selling him on. I think he should be worth a few a few thousand. 4.5 already. 5k. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I can see a lot of people using him. I swear he was a non-rare on FIFA 17. Sorry, Evans. I've discarded you. Yeah, I swear he was uh, a non-rare. Not many people went for him. Uh, I didn't. He's got high attacking work rates. I don't know if those have changed. Oh, God. Back to back. Go on, hit me up with a big pull. German, center back. Oh, why have you done that to me? No, 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 no. no how could you? I thought it was going to be a bad thing. Nah, come on. That is rude. I don't like EA now. Come on. That, how can you do that back to back? Making me think it's going to be a bad thing. Oh, that is so cruel. I hate it. I, I actually really enjoyed the pack openings though this year because I can't tell... Until I really understand how these packs work and maybe a delay here here or there or the smoke, you have to look at it in a certain way. I'm just clueless as to what I'm packing. The Guzman, ah, that's a good card. I swear that was the one that you used to be playing for Swansea. John Joe Shelby, there you go. He's looking more like Voldemort every single FIFA. Uh, what's his passing? Sim yeah, I'd actually agree with that, to be honest. 79 is pretty high. Uh, 60 defense, 77 physical. Uh, I think I think his card is a true reflection of the way he plays. I think EA got that right. But maybe mm, would you touch his passing? I don't know. Yeah, the Guzman. Let's try, check this guy. Four star, four star. Hello. Yes, Bundesliga, great league as well. That right there could well be our starter cam 
for the road to glory like seriously and he won't even be that expensive well he might be now because i showed you guys on video yeah my bad sorry about that <laughs> well sorry for me not for you because you guys can go and try him what's this one i'm skipping if it's a bad no it's a good nation oh muriel welcome back 89 pace 84 dribbling what a card seriously wow and he's got four star four star that is just beautiful. Can you get any better than that? Yes, I will be trying him and let you know if he is a certified beast. And the rest of it, we're going to store in. I need to get those players up though. Because when they do drop the Bundesliga, League SBCs, the Premier League, I just want to have all of the players already. I might even put more FIFA points on so I know that I've made a proper investment and I'll have everybody. Stabitza? Yeah, Stabitza. Yeah. Uh, I think he's got... I want to say he's got a four-star skill move. No, four-star weak foot. Ah, if he had skill moves, he would be even better. But still, another another good cam to go for. I uh, might have uh, him as, as a backup. I know some people were saying... Yeah, good. Yeah, he looks right. Uh, I know some people were saying, instead of having two separate teams, Fuji, you could just have one main side and then use rotation players, which is... Well, it's pretty much like two teams. But yeah, I can understand that. I think that's probably what I will do so we don't change like the whole dynamic of the way the team is playing. So we keep with the same formation, the same sort of players. I would I would agree with that. I think that's the best way to go for FIFA uh, 18 because of how hard it is. You don't want to be changing custom tactics too much, changing formations. Honestly, what formation am I going to use? I don't know. I, I want to feel the 4-3. I was playing the 4-3... 1-2 on the beta, and that's one of the reasons why I want to use it, um, well, on the full release, FIFA 18, to see if it still feels good. If it doesn't, then I'm going to be going back to the 4-2-3-1 just for added security, really. Otherwise, I'm going to get battered. Everyone is getting battered right now. Even the pros, they're coming out and saying, defending's hard. Yeah, of course it is. It's so hard. It's all manual. Oh, imagine if we actually discover, though, a, a technique that works really well, and we just sick at the game and we get like top 100 every week who's that sentiment it's got to be yaya Torre. yaya Torre, 83 a bit of a low rating oh that pace ah oh, he's been cut a little bit oh good card though i mean it's still a monster of a pool i like yaya anyone else in the pack with him i don't know how much oh, oh, i've already stored him into the club how much would you say yaya Torre would be worth though that's the question probably like 10 15 000. i guess he would be good for sbcs oh yes back to back i love the back to back ones come on i want a proper walkout give me that proper walkout right wing pedro yeah it's gonna be pedro uh, yeah it just, i'd actually say do you know what could be a good formation this fifa four one two one two wide set your custom tactics for a player like Pedro to come in a little bit and then you can get use out of that dribbling the shooting the passing because 82 pace with a right mid acting as a sense mid is brilliant his defensive work though may be a little bit of a problem with him being uh, a little well small five star weak foot four star skill moves that is a that is a really good card like seriously I'm gonna do that I'm, I'm that's what the road to glory is gonna be about guys is testing out new things I don't really care too much about my record um, at the start because you know Oh my god, we got back to back to back. Is this one going to be the walkout though? Oh god, don't give me Pogba. Oh, it's giving me Perrin. Wasn't a huge fan of his team of the season card uh, on FIFA 17. But there's always room for improvement. You can't judge a player just based off last FIFA. So he might be good. But what was I saying? Uh, my record on FIFA 17, on the road to glory, we had something like 50 wins, uh, 24 losses. Something like that, which is pretty bad. Uh... Oh, it wasn't going to... Back to back to back to back would have been sick. But no, it, it's it's not bad, bad, but it's not great, the uh, the record. And then when I got comfortable with the game, that's when we started to really smash uh, foot champs. And that's what I'm hoping to do this year. But I feel it's going to be even more of a challenge and I'm ready for it. I'm definitely up for it and I'm sure you guys are as well. So hopefully we can learn together and just become better players. Come on, give me, give me that flair. Now I know what it is, what we're looking for. I can tell straight away on the side of the pack, it goes bright yellow. Uh, oh, Jeeving. 
This guy, this guy. We need to get him into a hybrid. He is so goddamn OP. His long shots are just stupidly good. Five foot four. Yes, he's small, but he's so small you can't get anywhere near him. That's the problem. Yes, we need Jovinko. One more pack and I will go and show you the club and we can flick through some of the players that I have in fact pulled. So is this going to be kind to us? No. Oh, I'm skipping it. Oh, that would have been nice though, but I swear we got like back to back to back... Uh, special pulls but we just couldn't find one of those walkouts but we had a couple of informs high rated cards i like that shame we didn't get boating that would have been pretty damn sweet right so the players i've packed so far it is looking pretty damn good so we've got ourselves a load of informs Lewandowski being the main pool a Verratti, iniesta catino would have preferred if he was a cam but still he will get used and if we actually take up that tactic of the 4-1-2-1-2 wide and bring, bring Coutinho and Pedro into the middle of the pitch, you know, that could actually work. That could be something that I'd be uh, up for doing. Alba, Leno, Koscielny, what a beast. Borshelny with Bailly in that centre-back partnership, just, oh my God, too good. Asensio, that I really uh, enjoyed the, the fact that we packed him. Murata, Silva, Cahill, Mata, uh, Bonaventure, and yeah, that is pretty much it. Like, we've We've got, um, I'd say we've got a lot of coins though. If I got rid of all of the players in the club, I think we'd be over like a million, 1.5 mil. But the thing is, there's no point in me selling those because I'm going to need them eventually. Even someone like Iniesta, he's going to be needed in the Barcelona SBC when they bring out the league one for the La Liga. So yeah, no point getting rid of any of my cards unless I'm desperate for coins. But let me know in the comment section how you guys are getting on. Have you pulled any marquee players? Let me know in the comment section. And if you have enjoyed, leave a like and I will see you.